Here's how to remove the eSIM on your iPhone. Now on your iPhone, let's head into the settings here and you can see right under Bluetooth is cellular. So let's tap on that. And this will show you if you have an eSIM on. So you can see here, it says AT&T, turn this line on. I have two different options on this screen. One is I can always toggle this off. And essentially now I've not deleted that eSIM, but I've deactivated it. So you can see the phone number associated with that and AT&T is now turned off. However, I can also just go in here if this is turned on, if you wanted to completely delete it, you can always just tap on the delete eSIM and it says this eSIM will be deleted and the phone number will not be associated with this iPhone anymore. So just hit the delete eSIM. However, keep in mind there is another option if you have multiple different eSIMs. You can also just go back out of here and then we'll tap on general and then scroll to the very bottom and hit transfer or reset. From here, you can see reset at the bottom. I can tap on it and you can see this option for delete all eSIMs. Now, if you have a bunch of eSIMs or you just wanna make sure everything is fully removed and brought back to factory default, you can always go in here and reset all those eSIMs. Again, it says these eSIMs will be deleted. Your cell plans will not be canceled. Contact your carrier if you wanna cancel the plan or set up a new one so that you can add a new eSIM onto your iPhone. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys.